we're back with the Saturday wrap. Unlike last week when it was actually Friday. I think I said that. If you didn't, it was actually on Friday. Good Friday. Depends on what you call good. Anyway, this is me going back over the last week. Um, politics, news, tech, beers, more beers, and just general stuff, including main crop potatoes. Anyway, before we start, a favorite brewery, Brewing by Numbers. This is number 42, double dry hopped pale ale, 5.5% soft, hazy, fruity mango, pineapple, um, a fruity peppery finish. Lovely lacings on the glass. Let's see if I got a glass here. Yeah, Brewfest glass. I wish Brewfest would come back, actually. It was eclectic. Anyway, um, B++, for those of you who are ranking your beers, um, I've had it before, got it in Sainsbury's in pont Big stores, rotate your beer choices, please. Because they're craft, and craft is all about new beers and such like. Anyway, I'm already off the subject, down a rat hole. So let's start with the obvious ones for this week. Word or phrase of the week, and probably I've said this one before, but it's all I hear. Partygate. Here's my non-political view. If you bring in a law, that law applies to you, and it is your duty to show you're abiding by that law. If you don't, you've got to go. So in England, in Wales, in Scotland, and I think in Northern Ireland as well, they all have to go because the laws apply to them and they are there to set the example. And hanging on, Oh, and saying they forgot and they put it right and they weren't sure and uh, four different countries, four senior politicians all doing the same thing and hanging on. And even some of our news, they broke the law. Um, the police, completely different opinions on who gets fined and who doesn't get fined. And I think in Wales someone got fined £2,000. Yeah, consistency, devolution, all that sort of thing. Anyway, next thing, app of the week. So, yeah, um, there are apps that you hear about and you're not really sure about, and then someone comes up with a pro deal. Um, that app, well, it's a, it's a Mac app, it's a, an iOS app, it's an iPad OS app, and uh, it even has a web component. It's a thing called drafts. Very simple idea. Anything that you're thinking about, jot it down, and then it'll feed into any other app that you need. Um, you can tag stuff, you can search stuff, there are connectors, there are workspaces. Drafts, I've got to be honest, I'm really liking it. And the ability to just capture something off a web browser, excellent. Uh, I think I did for four. 49 for a year um there is a free component which is quite a lot of the stuff anyway um, so there's no harm in trying it out if you've got an iphone if you've got an ipad you've got a mac just have a try if you go a pro um it works across all those platforms it's a pity there's not a linux and a windows component there but it's really from mac app producers but drafts been around for a while solid product i like it a lot when you had it a week and it's like part of my workflow. Anyway, okay. And the thing of the week, I suppose I was going to say bank holidays, but it's not bank holidays, it's short weeks. So uh, the week really starts on the Tuesday. So it's back to work on Tuesday. And all the days seem a day out. I think I tweeted on Tuesday that it was Monday Club in the Tumble which it wasn't. Thank you, Mr. Landeg, for pointing that out. But it's routine. And sometimes, even though it's a short week, it seems like a long week because you're catching up and... Uh... However, 
week after next, the bank holiday, um, which I will be coming back from is it the week after next. Yeah, it is the week after next. Coming back from Hereford because be knowing. I can't wait, actually. It'll be the first time I've been to the Hereford Beer House since last November and also the first time since it changed hands. And I need a beano. I really do. And the tech and the beer and the everything. So, okay, on to what happened since last week. Last Friday, I left you in the Tumble Inn drinking coffee, drinking non alcoholic drinks, drinking low alcohol drinks, 0.5%. Okay, so the engine management system. I came back at three o'clock, the car was moved, it was pointing in the let's get out of here direction. I had a check with them. There were two errors. Both of them came up as unknown. Now, I, know, I think I know what the first one was. Uh, that was when the battery went flat. And maybe the second one, when the battery was swapped. Um, so they reset it, 35 quid the lighter. <sighs> Engine management lights. Did a bit of a rip off. You get an oil warning light, you need oil. You get a pressure warning light on the tires. You need to look at your tires and blow them up. You get an engine management warning light. Could be nothing, but you're going to have to pay a lot of money to find out. Why don't they put that information on the, well, there's a panel for the radio and whatever. It could be scrolling across the screen saying, this is your error. Or maybe it's an error code and you can look it up. And But no. Are they on the side of the driver? I doubt it very much. Also announced this week, Apple M2 processors in testing. The word is there will be a MacBook Air. They've also been talking about a MacBook Air. There'll be a 15-inch display. I think that's a bit big for me. A 13 or a 13.3-inch MacBook Air with an M2. Half a gig of storage, 16 gigabytes of memory. Gigabytes? Yeah, gigabytes. Uh, sorry, half a terabyte of storage, uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. That will be my thing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to WDC as well, because they'll tell you. Saturday morning, after driving home in a now fully working car, um, jumped on the bus to Newport. There are still problems with the buses in Caerphilly. Well, last week, not so much this week, but this week, Cumbran, disaster. Um, and it was really foggy, very, very foggy. And of course, if it's foggy, it's cold. However, it all wore off about half past nine and it was a warm day. It was also National Bass Day. Bass as in beer, bass as in the red triangle. Tagged a pint of bass that I had in the pen and wig, which is always good for bass, um, although bass, I don't think it is what it used to be, but um, it is still beloved, and I don't know what happened, but whereas I normally get 100, maybe, if I'm lucky, 150, 200 people viewing a tweet, my beer tweets went up to 4,000. 4,000. I'm thinking bots. Anyway, um, just shy of 30,000 for the whole day. I'm lucky if I get over 1,000 normally. Yeah, tech and beer and bass, old school and new school. Hmm. Okay, while I was there, I was having problems with Upnote, which is what I use for the notes for this thing, and a program called Snipdo, which is the equivalent of pop clip on the Mac, or if you have an iPhone and you hold down on a word, you get a little pop up thing with copy and paste and all that sort of business in it. Anyway. So I didn't know which one was causing the problems. And the problem was you highlight a word um, on Windows uh, in UpNote uh, and up comes snip to and the thing just, well, UpNote just disappears. So I pinged both developers, TLDR, long story short, um, by Monday, um, Snipdo had come back to me and said, ah, we found the problem. It's a big one. It's in Upnote. Ping that over to Upnote. Upnote on Monday pinged back. 
or was it Tuesday? I can't remember. Ping back a thing saying, yeah, we're aware of it. It was in the Windows App Store. They fixed it. They followed up with me. Um, is it working? It is. You can't get away from the fact that you will have problems with software. Um, but it's people who put it and fix it correctly and quickly the good people and it was so i was happy with that to be perfectly honest um uh, sunday there was supposed to be a boast water main i had an email from welsh water de cymru saying um you might have dirty colored water you might have reduction in prem uh, pressure did i did um didn't seem to have any of that and then two hours later we've sorted it all out i'd rather have one of those and not be the case than not have one of those and have no water because like you know sunday lunchtime obviously we need this sort of thing hmm. sunday afternoon i'd ordered some kitchen knives from amazon yeah um you have to have a passport or something with your picture on and your date of birth anyway the driver was great didn't really want to see the passport uh, although i held it up just wanted my date of birth um I'm a bald old coot, as you can tell. I am over 18. Sometimes the law's in this country. Sometimes. Also, I ordered some other stuff. Um, and this has happened before. You get a message saying, it's running late. And then you get another message saying, it'll be with you within two days. But if it doesn't arrive, you can get a refund. It never comes. You get a refund. You order it again. And it comes the next day. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, this is stuff directly from Amazon, not from third-party suppliers. So, um, hmm. come on, Prime. Should get a refund on the primeness of it all because you're paying for next day. Uh, right. Um, Monday started. Well, I ordered some potato bags, which are black plastic bags with holes in the bottom. Um, I had 30 of them. Turns out that they were really small, like about a foot tall. <laughs> um, they're supposed to be really good because they're black and they absorb heat and they don't flood. And you just put one potato in each one and they grow rather quickly. So by the end of the week, uh, all bar one bag was full, full of Desiree, which are main crop potatoes, which make lovely chips. And they've all been watered and I'm hoping for good things. Oh, Sunday, mowed the lawn, fed the lawn as well, which was good. Um, what else have we got? Tuesday, back in the office. Um, Wednesday, driving into work. It is now twilight again. I think we've almost regained the lightness of the mornings that we lost when the clocks went forward. You know what I think about the clocks moving around. I'd rather stay on GMT all year round, but I can see why we're not going to go that way. Although there was talk about us staying on BST all year round. Um, well, we shall see. Um, VPN issues on Wednesday. I still think it was at the year end. Um, support was good um, and with private internet access, the suggestion was to move from WireGuard to OpenVPN, which worked. I should have thought of that, kicked myself. But the next day, I swapped back and everything was fine. Who knows? Maybe someone had a look at my account and changed something or whatever. Thursday, um, postal vote. We have a local election coming up. Not a great choice on the independent point of view, as in none. Ho-hum. Um, if you don't really like that, I suppose you could always stand yourself. Isn't that what democracy is all about? I believe it is. And then, yeah, okay, yeah, all the Desirees were in. And yes, this morning, into Caffili, Tesco's Crossway, two more bags of compost. Because I think uh, that my salad leaves that I planted back in March got killed. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. So um, I'm going to have to replant those. Um, onions are coming along well. All the other potatoes that I planted back in March are coming along well and are earthed up. 
and we'll need continuous earthing up. Um, I might either today or tomorrow start um, planting, well, putting them in pots on the indoor windowsill, um, the peppers for this year, because they take the longest to germinate, sometimes up to three weeks. Ah, and that was my week. Yeah, the week of politics, the week of Dream Teams being back, the week of apps. Um, and four days, which seemed like five days. Although, in the end, it was only four days. Anyway, so this week ahead, um, tomorrow packing, tomorrow garden, um, next Saturday and Sunday, Hereford. Be knowing. That's it. Um, comments, you know. And bye-bye.